Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of All Consuming Podcast. This is our core values episode, which yes. we just started. Um, hopefully, it's something we can keep doing and have the energy and momentum to do it. Uh, we're trying to do it like a weekly ish thing uh, where we talk about new releases, kind of catch up, and just kind of goof off. Since we <laughs> yeah. noticed, you know, we do that on our episodes a lot. You know, we goof off. Yeah, we do it when we edit our episodes and then we don't edit. <laughs> and so we're like, why don't we just make this non-editing talk a episode? Yeah. So, you know, and music comes out on Fridays and we got a bunch of bands that usually message us on Instagram and say, hey, we have a new song. Check it out. Yeah. Um, and all we do is just kind of message people and say, hey, check check these out. Sometimes we make a funny reel and sometimes we share a story on Instagram. But this way we can actually talk about it and give our thoughts and opinions and release it as a, you know, as a podcast episode which is what right. we are more than we are social media influencers, I guess. Right. Whoa, bro. We're not influencers. Uh, suggestors, social media <laughs> suggestors. I think you might be, I think people like know your face. Like when they think all consuming podcasts, they think your face, right? Like the Sharon collective guy on the yep. Valentine's day, uh, meme I made of you. Like, he's like, Oh, that dude, I know that. He's face. like, well, who is that? Like, yeah. That, that's scary. <laughs> I know him. Yeah. So yeah, I, think I met him are. at uh, Furnace Fest. I'm going to nominate you for a Grizzly Award. Mm, please don't. <laughs> I should. I don't I don't need that kind of attention. Gary ACP. I'm not worthy of it. Best so. beard in the game. <laughs> Dude, we actually got to hang out though last week. That was pretty And cool. that's kind of why this episode is later than normal. Because like that's true. the day we would have recorded, we just saw each other that morning. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. And then I was like, oh crap, that was tonight. Yeah, so... I don't think we're bad husbands, but like me and you, like we hung out mm-hmm. on Valentine's Day evening, like us. Yeah, with a few other we, people, but yeah. We were our, each other's Valentine, basically. Yeah, Bobby and, was our third wheel. <laughs> and our wives were at home watching kids, and I was like two hours away. Yeah, you and know, they're both like, like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, whatever. And it's like, are you sure it's fine? <laughs> is it fine, like fine, or is it fine, like fine? Like, I'm in huge trouble if I don't do something else. But we'll take it, and we'll run with it, because we never get to see shows. We got to see uh, The Worst Prada and Fit for a King, and it was pretty cool. I was surprised that uh, Fit for a King closed the night. Oh, yeah. I guess they go, like, every other or something. I think first semester, maybe uh, it was the other way around. I don't know. I know that they said it was, like, a co-headline thing, but I'm like, how do you co-headline? They should have put both bands on the stage. At the same time. And it's like, yeah, you know, Devil Wears Prada does one song. All right, their song's over now. Fit for a King does a song. Like I like that kind of whiplash, yeah. you know, like ah. Oh, so that'd be cool. We were hanging out before the uh, show, right? Mm-hmm. And I had a I had a bet, a prop that I, I, I set up for you guys. Um you know, and we don't really like I'm not really like against cussing or whatever, but my here's what I said. I said, All right, dudes, the over under for F bombs at the show tonight is 25. Now I should have put it at 25 and a half, right? If I was really into betting, I'm going to put that half on there, but I put it at 25 and like, you know, we kind of like joked around about it. And I think we were thinking the over was going to happen, right? Well, we skipped the first band. Well, we didn't even go to avoid. We were late for avoid. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And and so so we we were like, nah, we'll be close. We'll be close. It'll be right around. And so Gary and I, like, it turned into like this weird joke. Like every time an F bomb was thrown, we look at each other and put another (laughs) finger. Just start counting. (laughs) These middle aged men, like, counting F bombs being thrown. (laughs) And so after Counterparts was done, uh, and I love Counterparts, by the way. Um, I know we could talk later about that, but um, after Counterparts was done, we were already at 19. Yeah. And I think it ended at like 29 after the divorce product. Yeah, so I think so. Yep. The over hit, you know, if I if we would have put money down, we probably should have taken the over. Who would have taken the under though? I don't know, man. Yeah. But yeah, so that was kind yeah, of That was a good time. I mean, we haven't seen, uh, well, I don't know about you. I haven't seen the divorce product since like 2010-ish. Uh, yeah, we saw them together with Four Today. Yeah, for like Dead Throne. Yeah. Like that was... A great show and yeah i mean it was kind of weird right like all the other bands were a little talk talkative up there but like the devil's product is just like the songs for the ladies plays chemicals you know <laughs> it's like they barely <laughs> barely said much no, they did they mention cool. like they 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 want they need to come to spokane more and i'm like yes you do yeah so i saw them i've seen them in spokane twice 
I saw them for Plagues, and they opened up for like August Burns Red or something. And then I saw them with Roots, and they were headlining it. Um, hmm. So back in the day. Back in the day, before we even knew each other. Back when I didn't like the Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, you didn't like them at all. Yep. But uh, so this was, yeah, my first time since Dead Throne. And nice. like, dude, I loved them. I thought they were phenomenal uh, mus- <laughs> musically. And like, it's just, it just cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, it was very good production. I always try to like, you know, I... I do sound at my church, so I pretend like I'm a sound guy, but yeah. Uh, so I like pay really close attention to like instruments, how they're hooked up when the mics are on, like, you know, are we getting fooled here? Is someone pulling a fast one? Are they, you know, playing tracks for their audios and stuff? But oh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't tell anything like it was, yeah. and they were so clean and on point. Like, yeah, they did. They did really great, but so, I had a great time and I loved like, I don't remember what song it was. It was a slow song. But they're like, I want you guys to mosh anyway. Salt, I think, maybe. Was it? I don't remember. It was broken, I think. Was it broke? <laughs> they're like, like this is a People are like two stepping we in the chorus. Care. And, yeah. Yeah, it was Dude, a pretty fun okay. show. Mosh pit, though, like maybe it's just Spokane where we saw them at. Or maybe it's just in general. I feel like that mosh pit was so tame. You know, I didn't going into it, I didn't even know if I was going to be in the pit. Like, are, are we going to be able to sit in the balcony and be old people? Like that was mm-hmm. our hope, you know? Um, and there was no space. It was just jammed, you know? It's um, ridiculous. You'd think Valentine's Day. No one's there. We got this. Yeah. Nope. It was slammed. And so we ended up being like farther back for counterparts, which is whatever. And then the Delaware's product started. And we were literally like pressed against the very back of the floor. Yep. And was it Danger Wild Man? No, came Des on? Moines came on, and you're like, I'm out. And you're like, I'm out. You're and like, then we just there. like win. Yeah. I was like, okay, we can get here. And the pit wasn't even crazy. I'm like walking around, like for the first time in my life, I'm like, am I the pit boss right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I definitely no, agree. I, like the, the pit was way more tame than what uh, we typically see. No one's see. catching anything. You know, no one's. It, yeah, people are like it, throwing fists and being like, oop, oop, careful. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to sorry. point my fist towards you. You know, like they're being very cautious, you know. It was more but, of a push, not no hardcore karate. Yeah. It was like pushing. I know? mean, there wasn't a lot of room to do a lot of hardcore That's true. karate ninja, you know. So I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, we were just in that. We were doing like, uh, we were walking back and forth, like, you know, doing our own dances. People were joining in. Like, How about those some- walls of death that you bailed on? <laughs> Stop. There were what two walls of death? I was in both of them. Yeah, I pointed at you for the first one. I'm like, you and me, you and me, and you just started walking backwards. <laughs> it's like, where do you go in? So the wall of death for the first one, we go, and I'm pretending I'm going to be in it. But I'm telling everyone next to me, I'm bu- I'm bluffing, I'm bailing on this, guys. You go, I'm bailing. I'm not going to lose my glasses. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going. And so everyone went. I saw you go. Yeah, I saw you. Yep, it was pretty I don't fun. Remember this. Pretty good time. The second one, second wall of death. There was this. Oh, fit for a king. Fit for a king did one. Yeah, yeah, I bailed on that too. That one was pretty mild too. Like I just saw someone pointed at him. He pointed at me, and we ran and just shoulder, you know, charged <laughs> just ran to each, each other, other and hugged. Yeah. yeah, good to see you, buddy. Oh, this is so fun, huh? This is so fun. Yeah, yeah. I know it's good to be at a show. It's been a while since I've been to a show, so it was cool, man. Yeah. So what about fit for a king? You like you like their show? I mean, we talked about Devil Wears Prada a whole bunch, but how about the, the closers? I, Absolutely. They're phenomenal. But it's weird. Like the first time I saw Fit for a King with you 2019 or something like that, um, I was contemplating if it was the heaviest band I've ever heard. It just felt like I was like, dude, I don't think I've heard anything heavier. I remember and that. I didn't feel that this time. And maybe it's just because I'm used to them. Right. I know so much of their stuff now. I mean, it's been two more albums. And I've seen them now. This is my third time seeing them. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe that. I still liked it. I just feel like I've seen that kind of set many times. Obviously, they have some new ones from uh, yeah, the hell we create yeah on there. So they did which, that which satellite cool. song. Man, I went to bed that night and all I heard was like falling through the sky. You know, spinning like a satellite song. It went, I just like <laughs> could not sleep. Like I'm dead <laughs> tired, and I'm like, get this song out of my head. Like I just want to sleep. Yeah, yeah. they they did play like every heavy song they have like yeah yeah brutal song you know Mm -hmm. which was really cool uh i love shattered glass and when that was on it was so good yeah that was crazy and it's always great when you get back backbreaker and you get that 30 second scream like he does that every night dude yeah 
It's insane. That was crazy. But yeah, man, that was fun. Well, anyway, should we get to talking about new stuff that came out or you want to, you want to share more life story stuff I'm down to How, whatever. How's, how's Tyler? I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm down to listen to some new stuff. I didn't, I looked at the release radar this week. I didn't see a ton of stuff for me. Came yeah, out. my release radar didn't have a lot. It had like four or five songs, um, but some people on Discord shared some new stuff. Saw some stuff on Instagram. One band messaged me. Dude, okay. So, I'm interrupting you again. Um, fire I want to talk about this. So you've heard of the uh, Armor Gym where they do these like breakdown reactions? No. Dude. Armor it's, Gym. It's like, like a gymnasium. Okay. Like gym. Yeah. And it's in Knoxville and it's a Christian gym. Okay. And they're into our stuff, like that. The owners of it, they're into our metalcore, sure. Christian stuff, right? The scene, uh-huh. and they're doing these reactions with people that go to their gym that don't like metal. Oh, okay, yeah, I've seen those, yeah. And uh, they do the breakdowns, and they're so funny, man. They got like even like this kid, and uh, at the end, this most recent one I listened to, that the last one they listened to, I think it was, was Immortal Construct, and it was uh, portrayals. Okay. And this kid at the end's like, why, why would you do this to me? You know, and he hates metal. And he's like, I'll never get this back, you know, or whatever. <laughs> it's so funny. Like most of them, you know, <laughs> most of them are like, oh, that's cool. I kind of see how, you know, you like this stuff. Oh, I'm going to add that to my worship or my workout playlist. And then like this kid was just hating the whole time. Yeah. He's like, what? Yeah. You know? Other people are like being nice about it. And they're like, it's great. <laughs> Yeah. No, it was, it's a really cool deal. I, I I love the idea of it. And I was like, dang, we need to have a Christian gym. Like, that'd be so sick. And this All one right. dude, this one gal, it was Phineas, uh, the fire itself, they were reacting to. Mm-hmm. And uh, afterwards, she's like, oh, I know this song. You guys play it at the gym all the time. <laughs> nice. And he's like, yeah, we do. Like, how cool is that? Yeah. All right. So from now on, all Patreon money goes towards funding our gym. We're going to start a Eastern Washington gym. It's got to be franchised because we're in different cities. Yeah, we got to start one in Tri Cities and one in Spokane at the same time. Yeah, and uh, it's not it's, competition, but no. <laughs> and we're going to then make YouTube videos where we have our members react to metalcore. No, so I followed them on our Instagram. Cool. Yeah, so hopefully we see more of it. It's such it's it's a really good idea, and it was it's cool. Hmm. Anyways, what do we got out? You want you ready to start listening to music? Let's do it. Yeah, I have like. It might be a long one today. Eight or nine songs, maybe. We'll see how we feel. And uh, I didn't have eight or nine songs on my entire release radar. That includes Taylor Swift-ish music. Dang. What? Yeah, you do. No, dude. Well, mine's all metalcore. Uh, there's an acoustic version I may show you. I may not. Depends on how our conversation goes. And uh, Okay, freeze. This is what Gary texted me before we started this. He said, better come with an open mind. I got one song I know you'll love, but there's a few that are okay. All right. I have to come with an open mind. All right. That was when I thought I had like four songs. And so yes, you're worried yeah. I'm going to hate these? Open your mind. Not not, not yet. There's some later oh. that I think they're not really metalcore. They're more just like metal or like rock or hard rock. Like And, and they're songs that like, like were trap. suggested to me. Not what, trap? What? Headstrong. Oh, trapped. I thought you meant like the genre trap. I'm like, oh. dude. No. Um, Dude, I mean, yeah, I've been sure. The trap it's kind of like it's kind of like that. Maybe not quite that. Maybe softer. Um, I don't even know if I'll play them for you. I'll see how our, our if you're if you're uh, being positive and loving everything, then I'll be like, well, try this one. Uh, Slide this in there for you. Yeah. All right. Lay it on me, brother. All right. So this first one, uh, this is just for fun, but maybe you'll like it. I don't know if I want to tell you what it is yet. I know you'll see it as soon as I press play. No, I'm not looking at anything. I just have, right. I only have this Europe. All right, I'm not going to tell you anything. I am not looking. I am so ready for this. What do you think so far? I like it. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop. Now, I know you weren't raised a VeggieTales guy. Dude, okay. Yeah. I don't understand VeggieTales. Uh, they're vegetables. Oh my and gosh. <laughs> it's a uh, dude. I hate the, this. on YouTube. It's like labeled like <laughs> sea shanty <laughs> dash pirates, whatever. I'm like, dude, this is vegetables. 
<laughs> just say it's a cover of the Pirates so, cartoon. Thing. I mean, I knew what VeggieTales were, but I didn't really grow up in the church. And so, I mean, I wasn't watching VeggieTales. Oh, I like that. There's, so there's three vocalists that do this, right? The first one is Jonathan Young. He does all kinds of covers. That's how I found it, because I like the covers that he's done. He's got a very deep voice, but... Yeah, the third one is the best. It's it's the heaviest. This is just like, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, it's a kid. Oh my gosh! Let me guess, your son loves this. Uh, they like the original better. Oh really? And I, I kind of do too, because it's like it's super goofy and silly, and so this is giving it a serious thing, and you have like these. People telling these ridiculous things, you know, throwing their mashed potatoes against the wall, like, really. But here's the third one. What in the world? Oh my gosh. That's actually brutal, dude. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Oh. Basically, over here, they just ride this out to the end. But so, okay. Tell me the veggies. Like, what's with the veggie tales? Everyone, everyone in the Christian '90s and 2000s was watching it. Yeah, dude. Those same Christian bookstores. Right, that you go to buy your solid state and tooth and nail. Yeah. Was also selling these VHSs of Veggie Tales, and they're like kids' Bible stories, you know, and life lessons uh, told by vegetables. And it got pretty popular in like you know big Christian festivals, like uh, uh, you know Creation Fest. Like they had people dressed up as the you know Larry the cucumber and Bob the tomato, and they'd go up on the stage, and then they had like the band, you know, like. Uh, Newsboys, Audio Adrenaline, all these other bands do versions of VeggieTales songs. So you got like Rebecca St. James doing stuff, you know, Michael W. Sweet, like everybody is uh, Michael Sweet, Michael W. <laughs> Michael Smith. W. Sweet. <laughs> I caught myself there. No, not Striper, unfortunately. But yeah. anyway, so you have like these big bands, you know, in the Christian scene, like CCM radio people doing these songs. Of these, so it, it increases the publicity even more. But basically all they do on the on the movies is like kid has a problem they tell him a bible story how it relates to his problem and at the end there's like a bible verse right and they're vegetables. super simple and in the middle there's the silly songs with larry where it's like ridiculous silly songs this is one of them uh-huh. uh and even in the movie and stuff because they're movies right but in the movie there's songs and stuff that happen and stuff but uh that's i don't know that's the gist of it and i think I don't know why it was so big and popular. I thought my family was the only ones that watch VeggieTales. And, you know, I go to college and talk to other people and they're like, oh, yeah, VeggieTales, love them. I'm like, you know, VeggieTales. <laughs> it's like finding out everybody watches SpongeBob SquarePants. You right, know, it's like, right. what? Uh, but yeah, it was just a big thing. So my wife, she grew up in the church and she knew VeggieTales. But she said they watch more like Bible Man. Dude, yeah. You watch Bible Man too? I watch Bible Man too, yeah. And she showed me like some of the Bible Man stuff, like on YouTube or whatever. And I was like, and this it is the aged corniest. Really well, right? <laughs> this is the corniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like, if you were to say this was, like, you know, it's like ironically Christian. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like it's almost making fun of it. Well, yeah, it's like it. It's like a stage play, like a, a play put on for like eight year olds, and it's <laughs> someone press record on a camera. Yeah. Right. Like. It is super cheesy and stuff, but I mean, it was very, I don't know, influential, I'll say. Yeah. Like, all the kids are watching that stuff. Yeah, she loved it, too. And even to like to this day, she's like, yeah, Bible, man, it was so cool. Yep. And she shows me, I'm like, oh, my gosh. But, you know, I mean, I, just didn't, I didn't grow up in it. I grew up in, I don't even know what I grew up in. Just regular stuff. Just pagan Satanist <laughs> stuff, yeah. <laughs> all the, yeah, whatever was a Satanist on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Yeah, you probably grew yeah. up reading Harry Potter and... Oh, yeah, dude. I did, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so we got VeggieTales for the first one. You know what? Like, obviously, (laughs) 
I mean, when I agreed to do this with you, I didn't like think we were going to listen to these types of songs. Dude, but. it's metalcore though, right? No, it was. I, that last uh, vocalist on there, that was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. I enjoy it. I think right, I'd so be more uh, into it if I n- was more into VeggieTales. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I like that these three YouTube guys who cover songs yeah. got together and covered a very, you know, cr- childhood Christian song. And it's like, you know, even if those are guys weren't Christian, I have no idea. The songs they typically cover are like, you know, anime videos, you know, the Pokemon theme song, like, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh. right? And it's just like these staples in people's childhood, right? That they kind of just cover and do these kinds of songs. Are but the VeggieTales still VeggieTale Christians or are they deconstructed? I, I think the VeggieTales are still around. Uh, the company was bought out. Oh. And it became more of a positive life lesson type thing. Yeah. And they I changed the I animation and all that. that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So shall we move on? Let's do it. All right. Here's a new one. Um, not a new band, but uh, I'll say they're new to me. I, I didn't really know about them. Uh, they've been around for a couple of years, got a couple of singles out and this one dropped and I dig it. It's more of ages? the band is called the light superior. Oh, okay. It's not, it's not War of Ages. The song's <laughs> called Tidal Wave. Okay. And I pressed play. I hear it. Okay, I'll give it a few more seconds before I make any judgments. Oh boy, Tyler doesn't have patience today. It's going to be a long one, I think. Okay, I like it. I'm glad I gave it some time. Great metalcore riff. Yeah, those guitar tones. Great. High vocals. All right. I like it a lot. It's very uh, pulled back musically. Like not as aggressive as you thought it would be? It gets pretty aggressive, but like some of those parts get like super just vocal. That's all it feels like in a little bass. Yeah, I like that part that you're talking about, I think, where it was like the clean vocals behind the screaming vocals. Yes. Yeah, I kind of like that. Demon Hunter used to do that back in the day. Their cleans kind of remind me of like a Convictions recent album. I don't know why. Really? It's good. It's really good. It kind of does just remind me of convictions that I know that I think about, like a less like heavy convictions. Yeah, I can't think of what it's like. Okay, yeah. And I haven't listened to their other stuff, so I don't know if this is lighter or heavier or, you know, if this is the middle of the road. I really don't know. But it's definitely got like this hard rock thing with this, this metal guitar work and core vocals. I'll put it on our playlist. Yeah, no, I really like it. Would you rather listen to this or the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything? Oh, gosh. This any day. 
<laughs> every day. Well, you ready to move on to the next one, or you want to yeah, talk about Yeah, what else you got? Okay, right, so, so so far, what was the band's name? The previous that one, was one, the Light Superior. The Light Superior. I've never heard of them. Yeah, I don't even know how I found them. Don't know. So this next one, um, someone shared them on our Discord. I want to say. Do you remember? But, uh, I, they're probably a little closer to. I think they're a lot more hardcore than what we've listened to. Probably the most hardcore we'll have today. Okay. Uh, band's is called this the one you think I'll love. No. Oh. No, the one I think you'll love is like four songs away. So this band is called Crowned. Okay. The song's called Idolized Self. Yes. These vocals, give them to me every single day of my life. I love it. On every, every song, every day. Every song. Worship, slow dancing. Taylor Swift cover songs. Yeah, dude, I like this a lot. Kind of reminds me of like Cultist. Yeah. Interesting. I'm only getting guitar like out of one ear. Yeah, the lead guitar that, is only on the left. That lead guitar is like one ear. The rhythm, got rhythm on the other. And I really like that lead guitar. Gives me some like, I don't know, for today vibes. Yes. Like breaker album for today. Oh, dude, this is sick, man. Time to go to the gym. The armor gym. What's these guys' name? Crowned in caps. Crowned. Huh. Dude, there's so many different sounds that we've gotten in this one song. Tried to blame God. I think we tried to play God. Play God. They should really emphasize their puss. Well, good. I'm glad you like it. No, I I was actually kind of nervous that you might not have liked it, but no, dude, I dig, I dig, I dig the dude's uh, vocals a lot. Really, I think that's pretty good, and it was good guitar work too. Yeah, definitely more hardcore, but there's like metalcore elements too, for sure. So there's um, two bands. Well, I'll say three. For sure two, potentially three. I don't know if I'm going to play this third one for you later. I want you to keep an open mind, right? <laughs> okay. This is one of them. Do You don't think I have an open mind when it comes to music, Gary? Um, I love most... Okay, I like most things. I love few. Yeah. There's not much I don't like. Okay. But for you, there's <laughs> often times where like rock or like new metal comes in and you're like, I'm done. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I, I like... There's a lot of like rock I do like though. Right. So this band is called The Grave Denial okay. and I recognize their logo from like a long time ago. It has like a a bird standing on a tombstone. Yeah. So looking at it now it's like from 2019 and I but I don't recognize the songs for some reason. So uh but this song just came out um I think it's I I'm I'm, I'm trying to remember the song cuz I only heard it once so far but it's like re- I'll stop talking. Let me just press play and we'll see how it goes. So the grave denial, this song's called Reverie. Okay. (laughs) 
feeling it. Like, I don't want this to come off bad, but like some Lincoln Park vibes to start with. Why, the, the pad, the synth? I don't know. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going with this? We're going. I'm on a journey right now. Oh, okay. Love that. Love that, dude. Yeah. Just chunky deliciousness. Group shouts, bro. Dude, love it. Bible reference? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude, that guitar behind it right now. Yeah. Hammer-ons, pull-offs going. I like their transitions and their their changes to Yeah. I've been told all my life that I need to score the red to believe that there's no different feeling. Oh <laughs> you doing group shouts for me? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to give Gary the microphone for the group shouts. Man, I, I don't know what they sound like. They sound kind of unique right now. From what I remember, this chorus is like how I rem think I remembered them. Where it's like metal music with... Yeah. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like Nine Lashes. Heavier though. Yeah, vocally heavy. And this, oh man. This is sick. Ooh, little bass fried right there. Tasty. Love it. Mick, tasty. Yep, and great lyrics, too. Mm. Do we got one more for me? Or is that the end of the song? Let's go. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to fade out. Yeah. You know, just like the one of those or be one more. We got one more. And oh, that's epic. great. It's a fun song. Good. I, I wasn't going to hate that. You think I was going to hate just because they're clean vocals? No, it just took a long time for the clean vocals for the chorus uh, and like the slow build to yep. another build. Right. And so I that's know like a... the music that can bridge genres, right? That can bring in people that are not really into the heavy, heavy stuff, you know? Yeah, and it's a one-way bridge. What do you mean? <laughs> so like people who like hard rocks, you know, like new metal, like that yeah. kind of more aggressive rock would hear that and maybe, you know, be have more interest in metalcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got people who are already into deathcore, True. And they listen to that and they're going to be like, what is this? Why is there rock in my metal? That's, yeah, true. But there's people like us that we, we'll we'll dabble. We'll dabble in that deathcore. I like deathcore. But like, I'm not ever going to go full deathcore with everything I listen to. Sure. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people like us too that kind of just 
heavy music is what we like. Yep. And heavy music is a spectrum, right? From like, you mean it's not it's not a binary genre. It's not it's heavy <laughs> it's or not heavy. Oh. Is Emery heavy music? Pick a song and I'll tell you. Right, like that's like the low end probably, and then you go into impending doom on the other side, and like that's our like heavy music spectrum. We'll listen to anything on that. Yeah. So we, my wife and I, went on a date last night, and we were listening to Devil Wears Prada on the way. Which which Devil Wears Prada? Exactly. And there's so two it of was them. just it was just <laughs> oh <laughs> no. I mean, the there's like old and new, you know. It, well, yeah, and it was the new stuff. Um, it was just like their most popular plays recently in Spotify or whatever. Right. And it started, it was like salt, I think chemical, maybe broken. Those three like were like in a row. And she's like, this isn't even heavy. (laughs) And I was wearing like my new devil wears Prada shirt. And it has looks brutal. (laughs) A warrior with like skulls. And this is brutal. And she's like this. I don't, she's like, I don't know if I'm just used to everything you listen to, but this is not heavy. Like this is, this is not heavy at all. It's like a like, day to remember, you know, it's, it's catchy. Not even it's, like, I, I think like, I think it's less heavy than that. Yeah. But then, you know, the next song after that's like Watchtower or whatever. And then, okay, there's, you know, Sacrifice obviously still some, and, still some yeah. metal core, but I'm like, dang, that's, that's a good point. Like those songs that we love to just scream and sing are not heavy. Yeah. The Devil Wears Prada has changed a ton, right? Yeah. Um, to where now they have a lot of their newer songs are rock in a sense, uh, maybe with a little heavier music behind it, but it's rock what it people is. People wouldn't say it's rock. What would they say it is? Metalcore. You think so? Yeah. Even though the singing is like yeah, but they still they still scream in all those songs. Mike's yeah, in every one. At least backing vocals. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a good point. But I don't know. Heavier than Twenty One Pilots. <laughs> That's heavier true. than imagine dragons yeah okay so that's where our that's where our line is where is the line to heavy music is it imagine dragons is that as low as we go or is that i mean that's the cutoff like we're not going to take that step dude i have no idea you like amberlin you like need to breathe so uh not enough to like all right let's break down okay actually the first couple amberlin's albums i would love to break down one of those like yeah but that's more you know that's ah, that's rock you your know? top three like, bands are like classic crime Amberlynn <laughs> need to breathe. So, or like you've seen those guys like a hundred times. I've never seen need to breathe. <laughs> I've seen Amberlynn at creation fest once. And what was the other one? And how many times have oh, you classic seen the classic crime? Cl- oh crime here? <laughs> All right. I've seen them six or seven times. Anyway, they, should we move on? The, they fit the heavy genre. Yeah, let's move on. Sorry. Sorry. I'm we have a lot to get through. We've, we've only done four. So, we're doing this like reaction episode and my wife like texts me and she's like, you recording? It's quiet. And I was like, yeah, LOL. She's like, normally I can hear you. So she's like, Gary won't stop talking. <laughs> so, so she's, she's not used to us listening to these songs and reacting. To That's them. true. Yeah. But so let's listen to this next one. You'll love it. Okay. Okay. This cool. isn't the one that I think you'll love the one I texted you. My about, mind but is open, Gary. You will like this one. It's diamonds to dust featuring the guy from Burning the Masses. I made a reel of this and I thought it was hilarious. It was. Dropping a bomb? Yeah. His vocals, dude. Oh. Vocally, they're one of the best in the game right now. They just do so many cool things. Yeah. It doesn't sound human sometimes. Exactly. So it sounds like a demon? That's not what I'm saying, just to be clear. (laughs) But yes, probably. (laughs) Oh. just how do you get that sound (laughs) 
You gotta tell me when the vo guest vocalist comes on. I think you'll be able to tell. Okay. Watch, like, this is him, and we are just, like, clueless. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Does this feel less death Corey? It does to me. Yeah. I don't I know, agree. like kinda like what Impending Doom did for a minute where they went a little more core. Yeah. And you got clean vocals. Clean vocals cannot be in death core. I was told that. But I like them. Is this them? I think so. They're guitarists. Oh. You know when they do those like metalcore songs once in a while? Yeah. And people are like, what happened? Where's your where's your singer? Ooh. That's good. I think that's synth? the guy. That's yeah. Devil Wears Prada stuff right there. I was just going to say that's just symphonic death metal, death core, you know? Oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> but I think that was the guest vocalist. Oh, really? Sounds like fall in reverse or something. <laughs> <laughs> I only know one song from them because I avoid them. Dude, those vocals. Love that. All right, so this next one, I'm going to tell you, you got to have an open mind. Well, that Diamonds of Dust was fine, but I'm going to say... I'm just going to say it right now. There's a lot of cleans. He didn't like them? A lot of, I'm not, not, they're good. It's cool. It's a lot of cleans. Take it for what you, I'm not, I'm not going to be negative. I'm not a negative guy. I enjoy that song. I will listen to it. I, I mean, saying. you don't say, you didn't say that about like crowned. A lot of screaming. I'm just going <laughs> to say it right now. There was a lot of screaming on that. It is, it's definitely good, but it just feels a little bit different, but it's okay if bands do different things. It just feels a lot different. And it's one single, you know, True. maybe that's their lighter one. I, I really don't know, you know. And maybe they don't care. There's This is what we want to do. Yep. Okay. And then Open you're not their target audience, song. Tyler. Maybe Wait, that's I'm what not? it is. Maybe. maybe I'm not. Maybe. All right. So this next one, Open Mind. I've shown you one of their songs before a while ago. They're an interesting group of guys. I think there's two of them. They wear ma like masks and stuff. They post Slipknot? very... No, they post very like Christian uh, commentaries as reels on like what it means to be a godly man. Oh. And they're oh. they're kind of they're kind of swole dudes and they you know they're like shirtless and wearing like <laughs> you know loincloths and Okay, you never masks. shown me this. For real? That well and also that Slipknot remark was a joke and you didn't even laugh. Well, cuz I didn't find it funny and I was like no, it's not them. <laughs> okay. You've never in you, I'm sorry, let's let's focus on your Slipknot joke. No, 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 no. Conan, That's hilarious. You've never shown me Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, giving it, with a giving mask. It. Yeah, I have, dude. I've totally shown you their music video, and you're like, you like the guitar work, but you hated the vocals. Well, so okay. here we are. Let's go. Let's New song. Got. It's metal. Okay, in every sense of the word. Take a late '80s metal band and do it again, but today. That okay. this is what we're about to listen to. I'm not even sure if there's harsh vocals. They've done it a few times. But I actually thought it was a pretty good song. Okay, open mind, ready to go. Ready for, ready for some road rash? Did you play that game? Okay. No, I never did. Did you ever play Jet Moto? Yeah. Dude. That was a great one. That was such a good game on the PlayStation. Yeah. That soundtrack was sick. What do you think? Metal? Yeah, I like it. Is it rock? Is it metal? I think because it's out today, it's not metal. But if this came out in the 80s, early 90s. 
Yeah, it's like in between new metal, metal. I think this is just super fun. Like, I could put this on really loud in the house and like clean. Love that. I just think it's catchy, groovy. Welcome to the masquerade. TFK, baby. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> you should check them out. We follow them. Our Instagram follows them. They're very interesting dudes. Very Christian. I'm going to look right now. What are they called? Mule. M-U-L-E. I really like those verses. What in the world? Just absolutely swole. Yeah. <laughs> what are the... <laughs> Dude, they're great. What is this thing going on right here? I don't... What is that? What reel is that? One of their songs? Yeah. Doing leg workouts to their music? Yeah. You, listeners should uh, check them out. Go to their Instagram. They're at least entertaining. And they Very might even have a message that you're like, I, I relate with that. Their, their messages are simple and straightforward. You know, being a godly man, following Christ, what matters most, that kind of stuff. I haven't seen all of their reels, so I really don't know if their message is always on point or not, but. So how's your mind? Is it open? It's open. I at least piqued your curiosity. How you've never shown me these guys ever. I For sure, it. dude. For sure, I have. They got guitar solos? Wow, not quite. There's some harsh vocals. Yeah, I mean, they're very interesting, right? I I can't tell you a band that sounds like these guys. Like, I just can't. Right now? No. Very no, entertaining, yeah. like you said. Uh, it, it, it would fit, like, in that 90s era, maybe. When when metal was dying and grunge was <laughs> <laughs> getting popular. Well, there's a little bit of grunge vibe to them, you know? Uh, yeah. No, they're cool. All they're right. Cool. Are you ready for the one that I know you'll love? Absolutely. Okay. So, Lightworker. Okay. They had an album come out a few years ago, or, or later, <laughs> further than that. Uh, I saw them twice here in Spokane, and yeah. I, I believe I've heard this song live. I loved their new songs when they played them. So if you saw them recently, anybody, any listeners, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's great. Way heavier, way more aggressive. Um, so I've listened to Lightworker before, and I, I listen to their stuff, and it's good. Right? Yeah, like they did, I, that, they did I, a cover of... I can't remember what song they did. I loved their cover, but I also feel bad that my favorite song that they did was a cover. I wouldn't say it's like yeah. brutal though. It's like kind of no, back then. No rock, no. like mm-hmm. yeah, rock, like but like metal. kill switch engage. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. not heavy though. They're they're soft songs, right? Like that. Yeah. But this, buckle up, bucko. Really? I'm excited. I'm. I was surprised. I'm okay. very surprised by it. So. Doesn't even sound like them, right? It sounds like Phineas. Yeah. Oh. What is this? Oh my gosh, dude. This is brutal. Nuts. I love that. I 
I dig, I dig these cleans though. Yeah, and the guitar work behind it. Absolutely. And then here we go. Cool. Wow. You sure it's the same light worker I'm thinking about? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember them being this like metal. They, they weren't, dude. Yeah. Those drums are just going. Oh, love that. Man, the vocals sound great too. Kind of reminds me of Kill Switch cleans. Yeah, Howard. Yep. Let, let's be real. That's that's the only Kill Switch there is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, listen to that. Love it. So good. So good. Ooh. It's a nice little breakdown right there too. Slower. So good. Dude, so that's really crazy, good. right? Really good. Told you, there's one song I think you're gonna love, and I think that was dude. Good. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Yeah, I messaged them earlier today, and I was like, "That new single's just nuts. It's killer." Yeah, I, I talked with them a bit after the show, uh, and uh, he showed me the album art that's on that, that for that single the song. The song was called First Light," mm -hmm. um, and we're, I was like, "This is that's so cool. I'm excited." And he's like, "It's the heaviest thing we've done." They put a lot of time and effort into it, and they've all had really rough stuff going on in their life. But, uh, uh, I mean, so they're not a Christian band. Yeah. They their first album was on Solid State. I don't know with what's what's going on with this with this one. I haven't checked anything. Oh, it says Solid State. So still 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 Solid State. But the singer, you know, he's you know Joe Calderon. He's a very involved on the Face Down. Yeah, group. super active. Yeah, and like everybody would probably recognize his name if you're into Face Down, just because he's a huge fan of the the scene and yeah. awesome Christian guy. He's really friendly, really nice. Like I feel like I could easily sit down and have a cup of coffee with him and talk oh, to him. Cool. I mean, I talked to him after the show for like thirty minutes, and I'm like, sorry, like other people in line are like wanting him to sign stuff, and I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm out. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Um, Dude, that's yeah, cool. it was great, and I'm really excited. I'm I'm stoked. Uh, they played these that song live, and I was like. There's no way that it's going to sound that heavy on the album, though, because like even their other songs live sound way heavier than this. Yeah. But man, that that this, this recording and like their vocals, the guitarist and, and Joe's screaming together yeah. like, oh, it's so Sounds good. So good. It's so good. Yeah, that guitar work, too. I mean, we're talking like awesome metalcore. Yep. Really cool. I'm trying to decide what I want to show you. So there's one heavy song I want to show you. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. But then there's two other songs that you know, is a keep your eye, mind open. You probably won't like it though. Like I'm just telling you, you won't. And another one that's just kind of for fun. Okay. What do you want? All right. How uh, about let's just do, I'm going in the order they're in. Yeah. So this one that. is, was just for fun. Okay. So I showed you this guy not too long ago before we were doing these episodes, uh, RJ Payson. He's like, does electric guitar work, but like, <sighs> it's like computerized, digitized or whatever. And it kind of oh, yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. EDM and stuff. And so this is a one and a half minute song. Hit another one drop recently. Oh, super fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's got this other guy featured here. And all this guy did, does is add like trap music and bass drops. Woo. Super fun. Lightweight. 
Dude, that's actually really brutal. I love it. Still? Now it's trap. I mean, whatever. You Not don't like much. it? I don't like it as much anymore. It's cool, but... They took that guitar work and really made it more electronic. And then we're back. It's fun, though. It, it really is fun. It's almost like video game music or something. Absolutely. But... And that's pretty much the halfway point. So, you know, at copy-paste, they duplicate it for a minute 40. But, uh, yeah, so that's the fun one. Uh, let's do the open mind one. Okay. So this band, they're called Power Wolves. Uh, oh. they, they just signed to the, the Sharon Collective. Charon Collective? Sure. I can never say it right. Every time Sharon. I'm like, every time I'm like, all right, that's how I say it. I reverse it in my brain. But uh, so, yeah, a lot of guys on our Discord are on that label, right? And so they're on there. But there's a song featuring Hospital, which I really liked their album from last year. And no one else in the world likes that kind of music, I guess. So I'm all alone on that. In fact, I think I might even be the guy from Hospital that's in it. But it's like, I don't know how to describe it, dude. Like, I'll just press play. <laughs> I don't think you'll like it. It's too poppy. It's it's happy. It's rock. It's mainstream. But there's so many bands out there that kind of hit this niche. And I think it's, this is like early 2000s. Like, like, I don't know, early audio adrenaline or like, pick I'm a commercial. At their Instagram right now. They've got some very '80s themed like synth stuff on some of their other songs that I just couldn't get into. But they made a Taylor Swift pumpkin what? <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> That's legit. Oh my gosh. So do you love it or you hate it? Sounds like you too. Yeah, thank you. It's been driving me crazy. I couldn't think of the band that I'm like. But yeah, catchy, rock. It's cool. It's a chill, drive down the highway song. With in your convertible with your sunglasses and your hair out. As the music fades out of the movie, and you're just yeah, driving. Yeah, the credits the are rolling, and you just drive. <laughs> That's exactly it. My beard's just hanging out the window. Just, just like, flying out the behind window. Behind me, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I actually kind of like it. I liked it. So this is the song that was suggested to me by good old Spotify release radar. So, shall we move on? Yeah. Are you too, you vibing too much to this? Definitely vibing. Are they Christian? I mean, they're on the Sharon Collective, so I don't know. I don't know. Is that all? Is that a Christian label? Um, I don't know. <laughs> a, a lot of the bands that I know that are on it are. Oh. Uh, and that Eric guy. You know who shot, taught, was like, who is that? Is that Gary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he runs it, right? And he, he's an awesome Christian dude. All right, so let's move on. This is the last one. This is a band I missed last week. Are you ready? I'm a ready. They are called Saint Lifter, and this song is called the first commandment what genre you think this is going to be before i press play uh what's saint the band's lifter. name again saint lifter one word all caps saint lifter first commandment this is going to be it's going to be rock just metal rock <laughs> yeah you're right hell's bells okay a lot of ways this can go. Just gotta wait. You gotta wait it out, man. You have no idea. I should have pressed play earlier to really build the suspense. Let's go. Oh, I thought it was gonna start there. Oh. We're or 30 Metallica. seconds in. 
It's more Metallica. Yeah, it's like... Someone's walking. Oh well, yeah, we got shoes. What is gonna happen? I already know. What's gonna happen? Oh! oh. Ah! <laughs> yes! Oh, beautiful. I like it so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird to see you melt to gnarly vocals. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Dude, I love this. Oh, my gosh. I need more. More! Well, there's two and a half minutes of it left, so... Is that a sample from something, or is that just what they're doing? Reading Exodus 20. Reading the first commandment. This is their only song, dude. Oh, yeah. I love this, dude. Oh, here we go. Found him. Yeah. So, what's this from? You know that that meme? It's what's his name from Transformers? You know, Shia LaBeouf. Say Christ oh, is Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you know it's good deathcore when they got movie samples in there. Although, is this death? What is this? Slam? Beat down? Yeah. Ah! Ugh. Oh, ugh. We already follow this guy, don't we? Um. Yeah. Oh, I, he's off of ten scoops too, dude. Really? Nice. It says, uh, yeah, it says ten scoops, drum, vocal, Saint Lifter, everything. Yeah, that's this is brutal. I love this. Can't wait for more. The next song better be called the Second Commandment. <laughs> Two CV. So, so that's everything uh, I wanted to show you. So I mean, I had a lot today, and even though I was like, "There's not much," I just kept adding stuff to the list. No, that's but, cool, uh, dude. And I feel like this a lot was a of longer good stuff. One, but do you so have anything that, on yours that I didn't cover? No, but I I can't stop thinking about this. You know, the movie The Batman that came out with Robert Pattinson. Yeah, yeah, really good. Like I enjoyed. I it loved a lot. it. Honestly, it might be one of my favorite Batman movies. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the, the sequel. But when at the beginning. He's like walking out and you can hear his boots. Yeah. And those guys are like mugging the dude or whatever. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. my buddy is like a huge Batman fan and that like pisses him off so much. He's like, Batman is stealthy. <laughs> no one's hearing him coming. And this one, you could hear him coming oh, from a mile away. I loved away. it. Cause it's like, you know, Batman's like, I am present here. I am right. You He's kind of like, what are you going to do? And everyone's like, what does that sound? Who's walking with these freaking loud boots? <laughs> you know, this dark alley towards <laughs> us, you know, <laughs> he was so triggered. He was so mad about it. He's like, that's not how it's supposed to be. But anyways, that intro reminded me of that. Yeah. 40 seconds of bell ringing and then boots or shoe, shoe sounds. And then, yes. Do I have anything to show you? Gary, have I ever shown you anything? No, but maybe I forgot something. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Um, all right, dude. I think that wraps up our core values episode for this week. You showed me a lot of cool stuff, dude. Yeah. 
and hopefully we can get out pretty quick. We got a fancy new way of, I'll say recording. Yeah. Uh, sure. So editing should be a lot quicker. And I really hope, so I, I like doing these episodes. They're fun. They're, they're little to no prep for us. Right. right. It's just like, Hey, let's listen to music and talk about it. Um, but I could see these episodes happening less frequently if we couldn't get our other episodes out. Right. Right. Which I think there's just more passion in that. And there's, I think there's more interest from listeners, uh, to hear like breakdowns and deep dives of for sure. a full album. Right. But that's my only concern with this. I do really like doing it and you know, we'll see how it goes for a while. See what people think. Um, People have told us they like this, but they're the people that tell us they like everything we do. So it's, you know, yeah. it's hard to gauge, you know, if this is, you know, quality. I content, love but. the idea of mentioning bands on our podcast that we probably wouldn't get around to doing a full episode on because they're brand spanking new. Yeah. And there's a lot of that, you know, just a lot yeah. of like, here's a single, here's a single, here's a single. And then years later, they drop an EP because if the fifth song came out and it's like, you know, right. Ha- would we ever talk about them? I don't know, you know, but this way we get to mention bands that like maybe we're listening to have, have, have some buzz going right now yeah. on social media and stuff like that. But maybe we can help them get a little more attention. For sure. Cool, man. Well, then I think that wraps up this episode. If you like what we're doing, go follow us on Instagram, maybe become a patron, get ad free episodes and early access to our episodes. Uh, join our Discord too. Awesome place for people that like. Yeah, the music you can we see like. half of these songs we just talked about before we talk about them. Because mm-hmm. most people share, like, look, have you have you heard this one? Have you heard this one? Have you heard yeah. this one? Oh yeah. But. And also, like, we're adding these songs to our playlist, so make sure to follow that on Spotify too. Yeah, we have a playlist. ACP new releases, something yeah. like that. Yeah, check it out. Thanks, everyone. See you. for listening.